Hey, what's up? I'm Sean Elmore. I'm a pop culture artist and painter, and today I'm actually going to paint. So, I got my caffeine here. And, yeah, today I'm going to be painting Lindsay Lohan's fifth mug shot. Um, this is actually the sixth one that I've painted, but I just wanted to knock out the series, and I decided I'm going to make prints, and I'm going to make stickers of all of her mug shots. <clears throat> I'm going to make prints, and I'm going to make stickers of all of her mug shots. So, I'm going to get into it. Yeah, get into it! I just had to rearrange all of my lighting. I'm kind of sweating, kind of regretting, like, wearing black in these studio lights. But whatever, it's fine. Getting right into it. Yeah, get into it! So, I decided to paint all of Lilo's mug shots. Um, I'm not quite sure why. It's just something that fascinates me as celebrity mug shots and how they like go viral when people get arrested and um I think that Lindsay is just iconic for her mug shots not for her mug shots but her mug shots are iconic and um I get I got asked a lot of questions about why I'm painting people's mug shots because it's really unflattering it's kind of rude um I don't know, my main thing with the art that I create is if I want to be a pop culture type person, I have to recognize the good and the bad in the pop culture. And I think the mugshot stuff was really important, just like I think Britney's meltdown was really important to pop culture, because I think that was the first time that we ever saw somebody who we would publicly idolized go through something like that. And it normalized her a lot, which... It's, I mean, it's not good to glorify, like, mental illness, obviously, but the fact that you could be Britney Spears and go through all of this stuff is just very, I don't know how to explain what I'm saying, but I think that it's, it's a good thing that we see that these are normal people, but the issue with, men, with, um, Britney's meltdown was that we didn't treat her like a person during that. We decided that more paparazzi was better and we wanted to make fun of her and bully and it's it was sad i think that the most important part thing that came out of that though was like awareness of the fact that hey um these celebrities that you're treating like zoo animals are humans too but anyway i'm painting Lindsay's mug shots because i have a series that I haven't really talked about yet for a project I also haven't really talked about yet. It's called Mugged, and it's a series of celebrity mug shots, and it's going to be a book. Yeah, so it's going to be like a coffee table book that I'm making of all celebrity mug shots. I've done a lot of them that I have not posted or published yet, but it should be fun. It's going to be really cool. Um, I'm debating, like, how much information I'm going to put in it, because my main thing is I want to make art, but I also want to provide, like, facts. So, I want you to know that this Lindsay mug shot was on this date in 2010, or, you know, like, Britney shaved her head February 16th of 2007, which is the actual date. I actually know that. But, like, I want to, I want to be able to provide facts like that, and I think a coffee table book starting with mug shots. I'm going to do more. But starting with mug shots is a good way to like get myself into it. And also mug shots are public domain. So I can't get in trouble for selling said mug shot. Um I'm not going to sell the actual image. It is my painting, but I can't get into any kind of legal trouble that I'm aware of. So we'll see about that. But yeah, so, um, I guess I could, like, talk about my process. I always start my paintings with a layer of pink-ish red. Um, it's technically alizarin crimson, I believe. I use this, like, janky little watercolor palette that I've always had. Um, it's actually two palettes put together, and I use it literally all the time. I used to use watercolor tubes, but then I just got lazy and this was easier to carry around if I traveled. 
And I really like limiting my palette so that way if I want to use purple, I have to make a purple out of the alizarin crimson and one of the blues that are in here. But yeah, so once that layers, good. I just like, I, go, I do like two or three layers of just the pink. And make sure I get like all of where where all the shadows are gonna be and all that. I get that in there. And then I usually run out of the alizarin crimson. This is a dirty ass palette that I use for literally everything, and I never wash it in between. I know where my red goes. I know where my yellow goes. I know where all of the in between colors go. And um, the middle is just Payne's Gray, and it's always been that, and it's always going to be that. And I just like, I don't know, sometimes it'll make my paintings muddier, and I kind of like that look. Which, art school will tell you not to do that. But, I don't really like cleansing my palette between everything, but it's not that, and it's not, it's not like a laziness thing either. It's just like a, I don't feel like I have to, <laughs> like... I probably do have to. I definitely have to. But, oh well. Um, I'm also extremely impatient, so you're going to see a lot of me blow drying my painting. So let me go get my blow dryer. Oh, shit. Knock over my coffee first. <laughs> should be good. I'm just gonna put my janky blow dryer down on the ground next to me because that thing is beat up. Um, I also have a, a mason jar over here with clean water that I use to mix my paint colors. My paint colors. You know what I mean. I mix the pigment with water. So I'm actually gonna make some more of the alizarin crimson the pinky red. And then I'm also going to make a yellow, which I tend to lean towards yellow ochre because I just think it's like a, a warmer, nicer color that works for, skin, for most skin tones, actually. Um, whether I'm painting someone who's white or black or just, you know, not white. Um, alizarin, alizarin Crimson and... Um, yellow ochre both work really well for those, for me at least, and how I use them. But yeah, so now I'm going in with the yellow ochre, and I'm kind of just like, I don't, ex I don't like know how to explain why I put my colors where I put them. I just kind of like go over it now. I know where I want to keep my highlights, where I want it to stay, the color of the paper. If I was painting somebody with a darker skin tone, I would do a full wash of everything in yellow, not yellow, but you know, yellow ochre or an orangey color, like a warmer tone if they have warm skin. And um, I would leave those parts exposed, like, because with white people it's easy because I can just leave the paper exposed. So with Lindsay here, I'm leaving like certain spots on the forehead and the cheeks exposed paper instead of the yellow because I don't want it to look too muddy and I want to I like having a lot of contrast so that way I can like smooth it out later if I want to or sometimes I just don't because sometimes I like how it looks when it's like super watercolory like super washy <clears throat> I just realized I'm talking like really low so that's gonna be fun I also have this fan going in the background over that way because these lights in this basement are extremely hot and it's not fun. I sweat very easily. I had a sweatshirt on when I first started filming this, and then I took it off real fucking quick because, no, I will not drip on camera. No. Unless it was for some money, maybe I drip on camera. But... Anyway. <laughs> I think um, in the future, I want to get a tripod or something that can like come from the ceiling or like behind me somehow without showing the actual tripod. I don't know. I want to figure something out so that way I can film a direct view, like a direct overhead view of the painting 
because um, when I filmed all of my time lapses for like MTV and just for my Instagram in general, I usually have the tripod like right in front of me, like next to me, so I have to paint around it. And it gets pretty annoying, but like I just love the bird's eye view of the painting in time lapse. Like that'll just, that's just so fun to me. And I think it really shows my, my process a lot more than this probably does over here. But this is how it's gonna work for now. Also, so I guess we can talk about like some music that just came out. Um, so you don't have to be a regular watcher of my channel all like four videos to know that I am a huge Miley Cyrus fan. Well, she just released officially her cover of Heart of Glass by Blondie. And I cannot get it out of my head. I don't know what it is about her covering that song that like triggers something in my brain. And apparently it is for everyone because it went viral on like TikTok. But why is everybody obsessed with that song? I mean, I, I am too, don't get me wrong. And she deserves people to be obsessed with her voice. It's Miley Cyrus, but like, just what is it about that song? It's like the nostalgia factor versus how she handled the singing. Oh, it's just, it's literal perfection. And she officially released it. And I would not be shocked if that, if her live cover of Blondie was on the radio, like that would just be so good. I'm glad people are starting to be like, oh my gosh, Miley's so talented. And her going viral for her actual raw talent is very good. I love her. I have a video coming up soon about some stuff that I made for her. Um, I haven't really like talked about it. I, so I talked about it on my Instagram. I haven't talked about it in a video, but I did a good amount of work for her this summer. And when I say for her, I mean like literally for her, like she hired me to do work. And yeah, I'm excited to finally talk about it. Oh, on Instagram, I talked about it. I did her merch um, for Midnight Sky, but I did some other work that I probably can't talk about yet, so I won't. But the Midnight Sky merch should be coming soon, and I want to do an unboxing video with that because why not? I designed it, so. All right, so I'm kind of getting to where I want to be with the pink and orangey layers. Yeah, so this mugshot of Lilo is definitely the least flattering of them, which I feel bad that I'm, I don't feel bad that I'm painting it because it actually happened. So like, can't say that, but yeah, I would have been a little embarrassed if this was my one of my mugshots. Her other ones are like, pretty bomb though. Yeah, so like most of Lilo's mug shots are actually like really good. Like um there was one that went kind of viral through like pop culture Instagram of her in 2013. It's her most recent mug shot uh, because her one her contour was like really amazing. Like her face was beat for the gods when she got arrested and it was just like her face in it was just like the attitude that she had was just so good. I don't know how to explain it. I'll I'll insert a picture. But um no, you know what? I'll insert my painting that I did of it. Um, yeah, so I, this is the last one I'm finally doing. I know I've already said that, but like, I just think, I think that this kind of trashy pop culture stuff is so important to everything today, which, and I guess like, actually it's not, but I think that's why it is important because I think it's just like that pop culture escapism is my main thing that I'm always so into where it's like, I want people to be able to go to my page or see my art and like maybe like have a laugh or like learn something about trashy pop culture. Like here's why Lindsay Lohan got arrested. You know what I mean? Just because like there's so much stuff going on in the world that's like not positive and even though this isn't like a positive thing like haha Lindsay got arrested I'm not here poking fun I want to be like reporting it and being like this is what happened on this date so that way not only am I making art I'm 
educating people, which I know it's not like a topic that needs to be educated on. It's not like climate change, but like, I don't know. I think pop culture and pop culture escapism are especially important. But yeah, I want to be able to not only make the art, but I want to say something about what the actual event was because I like, my art isn't like conceptual and I've done conceptual work. I've done environmental paintings and stuff like that. And it's just like, it's not for me. I like it. I like showing my take on specific things. That's why like when I worked for MTV, when I worked for Miley, when I worked for Ozzy Osbourne, I loved the fact that it was like, here's a picture. We want your take on it. Or here's a concept like Miley topless with disco balls behind her. Like, can you do that? Which like, Actually, that's not how it worked with the Miley merch. The Miley merch was very much me designing something, sending it to Miley, her saying, oh my god, I love this, and then I got paid. Simple as that. Which, I prefer that, but at the same time, like, if an artist knows what they want, then, like, kind of can't refute that. Alright, so, currently, I think that the, the layers that I wanted to do for the orange... Or like the the yellow ochre and the alizarin crimson are done. So I'm going to start on her eyes. Just like the eyeball color, her iris. Cool. Um, so I like adding the same green that I use in her eyeballs like somewhere else. But I don't know where I'm going to put it in this painting. Like I might stick it on the side of her nose which I said I might, and then immediately started doing it. Clap if you care. <laughs> All right, let's move on. And I'm gonna put a little on her chin too, so it looks like a white from this side. I think that's good enough. Also, this is a shirt that, um, I made, but was going to put it on my store, and then never did. Um, it's Billie Eilish, and it says go to hell on it, because um, all the good girls go to hell, but I never actually did anything with it. I really like it, and I wear it kind of often. That was enough leg for today, I think. So now, um, I'm at the point where the eyes are dry, right? Yeah. I love how I just literally, like, poke the painting. Um... I'm gonna actually start outlining it. I use these uh, Pigma Microns. This is an O2 beauty influencer here, beauty guru, hi. <laughs> but um, this is an O2, this is like my go-to size. I paint on um, nine by 12 inch paper. I never use um, the O2 size for the eyelashes because I like to like put the eyelashes on. I do like the under eye eyelashes I'll use them for, but the um, main ones on the top eyelid, I don't because I like to use the O5 for that because it's thicker and you can lay it on bolder and quicker and I'm very impatient as I've said multiple times. I never really do this kind of stuff. I usually just shut up and make my art. And I like to leave it at that because I never know what to talk about. Like I wanna, I wanna talk more about pop culture stuff, but cause that's what I know and that's what I love. I love talking the hot goss. Uh, but like Lilo's not really up to much anymore, I don't think. I mean, she had like the beach club show, which I saw some of that just because of like the the do the Lilo video went so viral. Also, I made an animation of that that I painted every single frame and I never posted it anywhere. So you know what? I'm gonna insert it here so you can see what I'm talking about. Honey, this is how you throw a party, amigo knows, bitch. Yeah, I made that animation for class because we had to make a, like a how-to tutorial series. So we had to make a few paintings for it. And I was like, let me throw it all together and animate it because that could just be really fun. I'm gonna start with her messy blonde hair. I'm gonna go in with that yellow ochre yet again. And we're gonna 
just start to go where it's like the darkest parts of the hair where it's kind of rusty and you know you know when a bitch gets some blonde hair and doesn't tone it properly she's got a little bit of that going on all the money she had during this era and she still had some orange hair <laughs> I'm not great with a series unless I knock it out like right away. Again, back to the whole I'm very impatient thing. I need something, I need a painting done in like an hour and a half at the absolute most. Like this is, this one's getting a little long because I'm talking while I'm doing it, but if I'm, if I'm not talking in front of a camera, it needs to be done so quick because I just don't have the patience. I start to hate everything I work on if it's after an hour. That's why once it's done, I don't look at it again. Like once I'm like, all right, I'm gonna scan it and post it, like that's it. I don't, I put it away. If somebody wants to buy it, they can buy it. Other than that, it's done. That's even like, even some of my favorite paintings, like I have one painting upstairs, um, in my house that is framed above my couch and it's really big it's the um the one that I did I'll insert a picture Christina Aguilera and Madonna kissing at the VMAs um I also did Britney Spears and Madonna kissing at the VMAs but the Christina Aguilera one is upstairs in my living room because I had it in an art gallery in New York it was at Vander Pla gallery in um the Lower East Side and it was a part of their show and that was my first time I ever had a gallery in New York City. I have um, a few pieces in my like hallway that I've done in the past, but like older pieces, like 2016. Like stuff that I don't look at and critique anymore because it's just been so there already. I've had it for so long that it's just like there's no point in like looking back at it. Looking back at it. Anyway, there's, a, there's really no point in looking back at older paintings because I just like... Why would I pick myself apart when I could just redo it? I have redone a lot of paintings. Like, um, I got some heat for, I, I painted a picture of Britney shaving her head. Although I completely understand I shouldn't be glorifying mental illness and I'm not in any way, shape or form trying to make fun of. And I think that if Britney can go through the hardest time of her life that we have seen and somebody can make an art piece out of it like i just think that it's a it's a symbol of strength because look at how far she has come since that point and yeah free britney by the way a grown woman who clearly does not have early dementia should be able to control her funds have a baby she should be able to do whatever the fuck she wants because she is one she's britney spears two she's a grown-ass woman and three even if she wasn't britney spears and wasn't a grown-ass woman nobody should have to be under their father's control like that. You are not 10. You should be able to spend your money how you want. And yeah, is this about to turn into my free Britney video? It might, because this really upsets me. And I love Britney Spears. Britney Spears has shaped everything in the world. This is Britney's world, we're living in it. Oh, another thing that I just remembered I really wanna paint. I want to paint the picture of Britney Spears, Paris Hilton, and Lindsay Lohan all in the car together. I want to do a long painting of all of them in the same car. That's iconic. <laughs>
down this background real quick. So what I do for um, background washes is I will wet the entire paper and you kind of have to see it at an angle depending on your lighting. But I wet the whole paper where I want the background to go, not the painting that I just did. But um, yeah, wet the hell out of it, make it wet and gushy. Um, let me not do that again. <laughs> and then I go over it again just to make sure it literally drips because we're trying to make that pull out game weak. Now that it's wet and gushy, we're gonna go in with the gray. I'll see that. Okay. And then I literally just drop it in. So on my previous mugshot paintings. I have like a vignette. These are stickers. Um, I think I'm going to do die cut ones without the background, but y'all see that? These are stickers. And um, yeah, I have the vignette in the background. You can kind of see. That's what I'm recreating here, but I'm doing it with more of a watercolor bleed instead of that was like different washes. I'm still gonna do it that way too, don't get me wrong, I am a creature of habit. All I do is the same thing every time. <laughs> I love something that's proven to turn out how I want it to be. So once I find that, I stick to that. I love ha doing wet on dry for faces, which means every layer is completely dried before I go over it again with another layer. The background, I do the complete opposite. I absolutely love doing wet on wet for backdrops, backdrops, backgrounds. So now I'm just gonna go in with like these shapes and add water to it. So that way it gives it that nice like watercolor, like blob effect. Now from the top, make it drop. That's a copyright strike. So let me stop. <laughs> Now this is where I have the most fun. I get to jump in with my gouache. I use Winsor & Newton's designer gouache. Winsor & Newton's designer gouache. And I just add a little bit of water to it so it gets a little thinner. Love highlighting and I know she didn't have like a bomb highlight in this picture you're welcome Lilo we're giving it to you accentuate that plastic surgery yes girl give us nothing all right so I think it's dry I think it's done let me peel this tape off Ooh, satisfying, nice line. Put that in the trash. Voila! And she's done. Here's Lil O. I don't know how well you can see. I hope it focuses because it's in front of my face. I'll also hold it over here. Hey girl. Yeah, so um, that's my newest Lil O painting. Thanks for watching me paint and babble about random shit. Um, let me go grab my other Lil O paintings and I'll film a quick little thing. And I don't know why I did that. I'm not on the computer. Film a quick little thing. Okay, let me film a quick little thing when I have the other Lilo paintings. Here are all of the Lilo mug shots. Um, I do not believe that these are in the correct order. I have to check. But I know for a fact this is the first one. Uh, I know these are the two most recent. This is 2010, 2013. But this is the one I just finished. This is the first one I ever did. But here is all six Lilo mug shots that I painted. I'm so happy that they are done because I enjoyed
painting them a lot, but I enjoy looking at them as a finished series more, so. Yay! That was all of my Lilo paintings that I've done of all of her mug shots. Um, this is a part of my series called Mugged. Um, the book will be out at some point. Um, you're just hearing that here. I'm not announcing that anywhere else. So if you watch this video, you're welcome. Ooh. But also, thanks for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, look forward to hearing more about Mugged or more projects I have. You can like, subscribe, comment, do the damn thing. You know what to do. I'm not a professional YouTuber. I just want to paint and I want to share my thoughts about things. So this is the best place to do it. So um, thank you be sure to subscribe because I want to be able to make more videos and not have four viewers. So thank you.